MTU engines are used all over the world. But how do they get there? It's quite simple, in a transport box. It sounds banal, but it requires a lot of skill and know-how because MTU produces the transport boxes for its engines and gensets by hand, like custom-made suits for engines. The team takes measurements on the engines that are being prepared for painting to determine the dimensions of the transport box. Two solid wooden beams form the basis for the transport box substructure. The team then nails floorboards to the two beams. These floorboards form the base of the box. To the surface they fasten three transverse bars and then three longitudinal bars, known as runners. The team reinforces the transverse bars with metal corner pieces. These prevent steel cables from cutting through the wood like butter when the box is lifted later. Then the team lifts the construction using a crane and turns it over. The substructure is now standing on the runners. Struts give the substructure more stability. In accordance with the specified dimensions, the team drills holes for the engine mounting and screws in threaded rods. The painted engine is then placed on the finished substructure and bolted to the threaded rods. So that the engine is well protected inside the box, it is first wrapped in a foam film and then vacuum packed in aluminum composite foil. The air humidity in the packaging can subsequently be checked using a hygroscopic indicator. The team then fastens the side walls to the transport box substructure before the cover is placed on the top. Using a template, one member of the team sprays the MTU logo on the front sides of the wooden box so that people know how valuable the goods inside are. Finally, the front sides are shut to close the box. The engine is then packed and ready for its long journey, which can lead to anywhere in the world. <laughs>